Finally, we want to look at images in series. And series is just another way of creating context for images. When we look at a series of images, when we look at images sequentially, we put their meaning together. And so for my very first series that I want to show you, I'm going to do something, I'm going to show you something very, very simple. This first image, um, I call it number one, is very rigid. It's very uh, vertical, although I did include a certain level of curvature in it. Um, it's uh, one of the criticisms that I have of this image is that it's very centered. Um, but uh, that also fits well with the, with the series because the next image is centered too, but it's like got much more of a, a, a curve form in it. And I think you can see like how the series is connected here um, and, had, and even maybe guess at what the next image looks like. And if you want to guess that it looks like a number three, you're absolutely correct. Now, I mean, okay, so this is a very, um, a very mediocre sort of example, but it illustrates a point. Um, anything that is obviously sequential, anything that is obviously part of a series can be made into a series and can be successful. Now, I don't think that these are good as art pieces, but they're great as series. So in considering series, I want you to think about like a television series. If we look at, so, say, the cast of the classic television show Star Trek, we realize that each of the people has a specific personality. Over the course of the series, over the course of the seasons of the series, we see these personalities develop. We uh, acquire an expectation of their behavior um, they become uh, familiar to us. And this is, um, this is very common in series. So it's like any element in a series that is uh, repetitive or that is um, sort of a continued exemplified is, uh, serves the series. Now, sort of moving along, and when we think about the episodes, the different episodes of the particular television show, we realize that they're always different. Um, that the things, I mean, the setting is generally the same. In this case, the, the starship. Uh, the crew is essentially the same, but their adventures vary widely. And one time they may be in some far-flung reach of the galaxy, and another time they may be in uh, the 1960s or cast back in time. Um, but how do we know that it's a series? How do we understand that it's a series? Again, it comes back to the familiar cast, the familiar settings, the way that the images are put together, um, the direction, uh, the dialogue, and, and it's all of these sort of familiar aspects of it. So when we look at a series of images, we want to look for these aspects. In this particular case by Ali, um, he's modeling portraiture, and he's modeling the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Um, and he's taking both of these ideas and bringing them together. And some of the faces I'm sure you recognize, and some of them I'm not sure you do. The key to it, then, is to look at the nameplates and to be able to sort of draw that into it as well. Each element in the series is considered. And you see that each of these items then works well on its own because it does actually imply the others. But as a series or as sort of a, like a contiguous whole, it, it, there's more meaning. The meaning is uh, exemplified. In this case, um, Kim is working with our understanding of advertising um, and food supplements. And she's really questioning the way that, or the messages that we're giving to our children. And so she develops it very sort of in a, in a sort of a roundabout way um, with like sort of looking at like the celebrity and the vitamin and our, um, our understanding of like pill culture. But then she brings it back um, and her before and after image in the, in the final panel just completely says it all. 
it says that this is sort of the transformative piece in it. And the after image is you look at that and you're like wondered, is this, is this what we desire? Is this what we want? So the, the final example that I have for you is by Larry. And he has taken uh, the, the traditional triptych and he's, sort of, he's manipulated it. He's using it sort of to his advantage. He's using like this sort of arched uh, image and the classic line drawings, but then he's also mashing it up with uh, images from the news, images about uh, racism and hate and uh, war, and bringing them all together. And you'll notice that there's a continuous theme in the background as well, and that's of hanging. So he's like creating this dialogue um, between contemporary art, the, the media, and this sort of heinous crime, this sort of like um, this murder, whether it be from the, by the public or whether it by, be by an individual or by hate group. 